Hey everybody, this is the new Barton Musical Circuits 4 Quadrant Multiplier and Panner. Uh, this is a kind of specialized VCA. Uh, so first we have this audio attenuator knob, which is working with the audio input. And it doesn't have to be an audio signal. This can be either DC or AC coupled. And so you can use DC signals to modulate them within. Uh, and so where this is different from a regular VCA is our mod input here. Uh, in a normalized, normal VCA, you would use a unipolar signal, one that stops at zero volts and then goes up to five volts or 10 volts or something like this. Uh, but here, we're gonna respond to negative voltage as well as positive voltage. Uh, and this works for both the panner mode or the four quadrant multiplier mode. Um, so in panner mode, we have these two outputs here, positive output and negative output. And these correspond to the polarity of the voltage you're using to control. So uh, when you use a, give it a positive input to the mod, only the positive output is gonna be active. And when it's a negative input, only the negative output. So to use it as a traditional panner, you'd send this to your right channel and this to your left channel. And then you'd give it a positive voltage to make the sound go more right and a negative voltage to make it go more left. And then we have this offset knob here, which adds a offset, uh, a positive offset to both channels at the same time. So that way you don't completely lose your center image while you're going to the left and right. And you can also use it to attenuate a voltage control, uh, a CV input. Um, and so then when you're in four quadrant multiplier mode, uh, the polarity of the voltage is gonna determine whether you invert or don't invert the uh, input signal. And I'm gonna show you that on the oscilloscope. So, well, there we go. Let me turn it up just a little bit. So, this is our input signal, which is just a regular uh, saw wave. And here it's being modulated by a square wave where it's just changing the polarity. It's inverting it. And let me turn up the square wave frequency a little bit. And then let me show you what that would look like with a triangle instead of a square. I'll turn that up. So here we see the triangle kind of forming itself. And then let's see a triangle modulating a triangle. And now I'm just gonna play with the frequencies a little bit and you can see some, just see kind of how it looks on the scope and I'll turn it up.
thanks for uh, indulging me. <laughs>